Agora TV. The world is thinking. Quote from the book, there was a problem with the corpses of the suicide bombers. They were piling up in the steel refrigerators of Israel's morgue and nobody could figure out what to do. Why? Because uh, at that time, as I said, there were so many suicide bombings inside of Israel. And what happens when you are a suicide bomber and you have an explosives belt is that usually um, most of your body is, is destroyed, it's, it's eviscerated, but your head and your feet are usually blown far away by the force of the explosion. So Israel was going through um, a period of time when they were just accumulating lots of heads and feet, and they were getting stored in the morgue in Jaffa in Israel. And there was a big problem about it because, of course, under, under Jewish law, generally a corpse should go into the ground, also under Muslim law, uh, by sundown on the day of the death. But nobody wanted to uh, bury Palestinian suicide bombers in Israeli soil, so they you know, were just sort of leaving the bodies in the morgue. They were crowding out the morgue. They were running out of space. And um, Palestinians, of course, were you know, often unable to get to Israel to pick up the remains. And even if they could get there, you know, of course, who wants to go to Israel and say, my brother, the suicide bomber, I need to collect his remains. So it became a real issue. It became a political issue. The Israeli parliament was arguing about what to do with the, with the bodies. And it wasn't a huge issue. It was just, you know, kind of a, I wrote a story about it because it was just sort of on the margins of the intifada, one of the truly bizarre things that happen when people are fighting that much and there's that much killing going on.